Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Dunbar Snack Bar. It is Saturday, so we have some college football with the NCAA mod for Madden 19. This is the closest thing you're going to be able to find to playing NCAA football, you know, the game that I know I used to love to play. What I'm doing with this is playing a number of different rivalries. So you can see for this one, I am going to be the Oregon Ducks going up against the Washington Huskies. Now, there is no opening introductory, like, cinematic and or anything like that since it is a mod there's gonna be bugs and stuff like that you got to expect it but it's all good all right get into the game here on the kickoff a huge hit force the fumble and a touchdown so within seven seconds we are looking at being up seven to nothing already i'm starting to feel pretty comfortable about how this game is going to go since i do have that lead but one of the things that was also really great about this is this is the first game that i have been able to stream since coming back it's something I've been working on trying to get uh, everything working. There's still a bunch of stuff I've got to try to figure out, especially with how I've got my uh, configuration set up for PS4. But I want to be able to do more stuff like this with you guys. This was a great experience to be able to just chat with all of you guys while I'm playing the game, uh, get the recording going, and then, like I said, also stream it too. So hopefully we'll be continuing to uh, do that, as well as with Madden 20. And, and I want to get... And will be the show going. Nice sack. Didn't lose too much right there. But yeah, like I said, the PS4 is really the thing that's giving me the hardest uh, time right now when it comes to the streaming aspect. But I'll see if I can continue to figure it out. I did a test stream tonight. Wasn't great. A lot of things I got to work through. Another big hit. I feel like I've really gotten into like this mad obsession with the hit stick and so i'm just anytime i get a chance to i'm always going with that big hit another good stop right there too i know we've let a couple big passes through but you know we've got two sacks already we forced second and 14 here in, in uh at the 30 yard line going with the run that is a smart call to make i was prepared for the pass I just anticipated, you know, you got second and long, go for the pass to try and, and come back and shorten up the yardage. Now we're looking at third and two. This time prepared for the run. And that was a smart call to make. So this should go ahead and force a field goal as they lose two yards right there. So it'll be seven to three as long as he goes ahead and makes it right here. Who knows, maybe I'll get some epic jump on it. Nope. I have actually blocked one field goal in Madden 20, and that was when I was playing a friend of mine from Germany, and I was surprised I got it. I've never, ever, like, since having this channel, never been able to block a punt or block a kick, but that time I was able to. I've got the clip. I'll try to see if I can go back and find it. Uh, maybe put it in, like, a channel intro or something like that, too. It was like one of the huge things for me, like big highlights that I've had in a very long time when it comes to sports games. Nice deflection right there, but look at that. One in three. This is not the best start for me offensively, so it's good that we got that touchdown on the kickoff to start off the game because maybe uh, offense is not going to be too great for me today. I was seriously worried. I was going to get destroyed right there when he did that spin made a lot of guys miss and then it was up to me but fortunately someone got to him before it was uh, my job to try and take it down okay third and ten if we can force him to punt right here that'll be good oh really you can't catch that that would have been a great pick six well i'll be happy with fourth and ten see we got the ball at the 38 yard line so pretty decent field position to start this game off gonna roll right Look for the open receiver in front of me. Thought I was going to get more yards after the catch, but a good trip. At least we got the first down. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Going to try to see if I can do something similar. This time to the left side. Didn't see anything open, so I went with a quick throw to the wide receiver on the left side. Just a quick comeback right there. Throwing it low seems to be the best way to do it. If you're going to make that quick throw, that way the defender doesn't have as easy of a time of being able to just come around and make the catch. Which has happened a couple times. Or at least he's gotten the swat. 
Okay, you're gonna go with the screen pass here on third and four. Some good blocking, I hope. That's enough to get me the first. Maybe I should have gone more over to the right side. I didn't think that there was gonna be much blocking on that one, so I thought the cut to the left might have been the best way to go and probably wasn't. Nice catch inside the 10 yard line. We'll be at the eight. So this drive is a lot better for me offensively. I think uh, for this drive, I don't think I've missed a pass yet. So that's the type of efficiency I want to see every single game. There we go. Oh, man. If that one would have been on target, we would have been looking at a touchdown. Okay, but they have the ball at the one-yard line. Looking for the safety right here. I'm going to be blitzing. I got one up the middle prepped. Here we go. Safety. So this was another cool thing to be able to show on stream. A safety. It's been, what, two, two games now? that I've had the been able to get a safety you know, from this college football series anyway. Man. Yeah, that's right, because in the, I think it was the 49ers game that I did last week, I ended up getting, like, the most epic punt ever where it just bounces and it hits the pylon. So they're literally, like, right on, on the goal line. I was not able to get the safety. That I was disappointed about. But that time I did. Okay, so we're good. Nine to three. The score here. Another great catch. Another great pickup. This time for 15 yards. And of course, that's the first down. 536 left to go in the half. Not feeling too rushed by anything here. Ooh, there we go. Hit as I throw the dive. Another TD. This time making up for that interception that we had. So 16 to three is what it'll be after I get the extra point. All right, maybe now I found the rhythm. I feel like that there is a stream curse. I think it's because whenever I am playing just, you know, the game by myself, there's no stress. And then when I go on stream, just knowing that there are people who are watching me, you know, I'm getting criticized for how I play because I play differently than other people do. That was one of the things about you know, just sports gaming as a whole that uh, first time that that I was uh, doing this channel kind of wore me down a little bit. I'll admit that, you know, I may play a game differently than somebody else. I may call different plays or have different strategy. It was just interesting that anytime you did something different than somebody else, it was just wrong. But anyway, knowing that that pressure is on while I stream, I feel like I'm not going to play as well as if it's just, you know, press record and have at it dancing around in the pocket i have no idea why i didn't get that throw off honestly the wide receivers were defended pretty well right there so there wasn't an easy option to go with maybe taking the sack right there was the best thing to do rather than trying to force something see that's what i was talking about and that time i did not throw it low that's two interceptions for him murphy dang all right. Well, they've got the ball at the 40-yard line, so I'm expecting points here on this drive. Maybe I can pick it off, turn, or force a turnover of some kind. Who knows? Maybe I'll, I'll get a stop here on second and four. Nope. I was thinking maybe we force a long field goal, but honestly, at the 24-yard line, we're looking at, what, a 41-yarder here? So they'd be able to make that one. Nice moves. Honestly, it makes it super hard to defend against the run. He's bobbing and weaving, juking, spinning, all that stuff to make you guess. Oh, thought maybe we could return the favor right there with a, a good interception. 147 to go, lining up for a field goal on fourth and five. I guess if there is a bright side to how that ended up, just taking a field goal is a lot better than Washington getting a touchdown. Who had a lot of good options there, but was pretty lucky that I threw it over there. Because that was probably the biggest pickup that I would have gotten on that play. At least that's my guess. I don't think anybody would have been able to get as many yards after the catch. There we go, just moving the ball a little bit more. 102 left to go. 
It's third and two now at the 38-yard line. Nice catch. Nice pickup. Surprised how slow he was. I think that was another one of those examples, too, where I had a couple receivers open, but I think I got it to the person who picked up, who would have been able to pick up the most yards right there. At least what was up the middle. I'm just looking at my progression. There we go. And they cut up into the end zone. A touchdown. We give up a field goal. They give up a touchdown. 41 seconds left to go, and it will be 23 to 6. I really don't think that much is going to happen on the next drive. So we may be able to go into the locker room. Let's see what they can put together right here. I am prepared for the pass. No. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I I don't think there's anything else I could have done to defend against that. I just got beat. Pure like just plain and simple. That's all it was. Okay, so much for going to the locker room. Now we're going to do it, but that's an extra seven points I could have done without. Mad props, I guess, for getting that big TD right there. Okay, takeaways is a problem. Rushing yards is a problem, too. Uh, the times that I've tried to run the ball, you can see with, or as you saw, negative six. Uh, things haven't been going too well for me. Flag on the play. The time that that uh, flag got thrown, I wouldn't be surprised if we're looking at face masking right here. Yep. So give me the extra yards. I will take that. So now I'm on the 41 yard line here. Automatic first down. Okay. Let's see what will materialize now on this first drive of the second half. I don't know how many changes I'm going to make here in the second half. I feel like that the mistakes that I made were, I guess, pretty organic. You know, it wasn't anything that I, I could have done really too much differently as far as strategy goes. I just need to be more patient when I throw. You know, the one interception or the second interception that I had, that one I really couldn't have done too much, I think, to stop that one. And then obviously that touchdown at the end of the half was really not too much I could have uh, changed about that either to prevent that. So just going to try and keep going because it seems like when I have been executing the way that I normally play, things have been going pretty well. Let's try to see if I can scramble, get a good pickup, and tried to slide, but it didn't work. It's okay. It's not like he got hurt or anything right there. I say that, but... I've got to be careful. I don't want to get too used to just running the ball with the quarterback because with Flint Beastwood, I'm going to be running the ball a lot. And if I don't get used to sliding or running out of bounds, that dude is going to get injured and that's going to just really hurt the gameplay there. This one, or in this mode, it's not really too big of a concern for me. Oh, man. That's Murphy again. That's three interceptions for him. That is not pretty. Here we go, stream curse, guys. Gosh, at the 38-yard line, too. That's still pretty good field position for him. Good thing I predicted the run right there, kind of forcing him to lose a couple yards. We'll set up third and 12. Really, what I got to do on this play is not so much stop the pass as, as long as they throw the ball short and I can get the tackle, then I'm cool with them completing it. Or I can just stick my hand out there and block it. All right, fourth and 12. That's good. 417 left to go in quarter number three as we're going to start this drive. No harm, no foul on that interception since no point. Uh, we'll put on the board for Washington there. Even though that particular play has been problematic for me here in this game, I think two interceptions have come off of it. That time, it worked. It's these plays that have been short passes along the middle that have been the most effective here. I think it's just because of how Washington's been in the zone. Going right, that was the smart call. The stiff arm almost got him. All right, so with that, at least I know I'm not in the negative when it comes to rushing yards. That's one thing I wanted to rectify here in this game. I didn't want to have anything on offense in the negative. I'll probably run the ball a little bit more too. We'll see. Blitzing along the left side. It looks like third and four. Going to try and go with the quick pass. But 
Didn't work. Swatted away. Settle for the field goal. And we make it. That was at the 30, I believe. So a 47-yarder. Okay, 26-13. For every one point they have, we've got two. Still a two-possession game. It's just going to be if it comes down to them getting a touchdown, they could get another one pretty quick and end up with the lead. So I have to consider at some point if I want to go for two or, or not. I just have to wait and see. Okay, what's that flag? Because that looked like it was right when... He caught the ball. I hope that's not okay. Offense. I was worried we were going to be looking at like some magical pass interference or something. Here we go now. Okay, third and ten. Let's get the stop right here. At the 49 yard line, they'll be forced to punt. Okay, good trip. I wonder if they'll go for it actually at the 42 yard line. It's very possible, but they don't. That was surprising. 10 seconds left in the third at the nine yard line. Just stepping back a few paces in the pocket. Able to get the pass. We've got a first down. So I don't feel quite as tucked back here now that I'm at the 22 yard line. Okay, they're, they're in man. Oh, this would be a great time to run. I could have exploited that a little bit better if I hadn't hesitated with what I was going to do. I probably would have been able to pick up more. It's just, with them and man, I was hoping that somebody would be able to break free. It's okay. There we go. We're keeping it going. Almost stripped it. He wanted that pretty bad. Okay, so I don't know how much I'm going to do as far as running down the clock. Probably, you know, take it into consideration, but I'm not going to be waiting till one second on the play clock every single time here. That might be the smart way to do it, but I don't know. I feel like here I am on stream. I've got to entertain you guys. <sighs> okay. That reverses all the fortune that I had on that drive. I'm looking at third and 11 now. Got to try and force something that is going to get me the first down. And, of course, try and pass to a receiver who is beyond... That first down marker, try to go with the aggressive catch, not able to complete it. So we punt. This is dangerous. Honestly, it feels like that when the computer... Nice tack, or nice uh, sack there as he, he trips up. Uh, but it feels like that any time that the computer has been in a situation where they needed to get a quick touchdown, the computer's had no problem being able to do that. A uh, decent hit. Looking at third and three now. With fourth and 27 seconds left to go. I wonder. No, oh, never mind. I was going to say, if they didn't complete it right there, I wonder if they would have gone for it. I imagine that they would have. They probably would have converted anyway. Honestly, you know, something like that would have been I'm set up for pass and then they run or, you know, vice versa. Not able to get the switch over to the defender and get the big hit. I've really toned down on it in case you haven't noticed. Especially in the second half, I've really toned down on trying to get the hit stick. It just works so well. You can see that time, first one doesn't do it. The second one does. Be nice to force a fumble right here this late in the game. And basically just seal the victory if I could get just a couple first downs. Ooh, oh, that is a fumble since it went behind him. Counted as a backwards pass. You can see Washington was able to pick it up. Holding oh, offense. and a holding call. So that was epically bad for Washington there. All right, second and 21. All right, he's getting a lot of time there in the pocket. I just scared him out of bounds there. I don't know if he would have kept going if I would have been able to hit him. Wow, 132 yards on six receptions. Of course, there was that big, big reception earlier. That had to have come from him. All right, to the end zone. Ooh, swatted away on third down. So I'll set up fourth and 11. 
Like I said, I think they're going to go for it, and they do right here. Back to pass. Set up for that. Ooh. Comes down with it. Disappointing. They'll clap. To be honest, that was, that was a good play call. Good selection there, too. Just hate that it had to come from a computer. Uh, try to stop him from going in, but I think I only helped him. Honestly, with that amount of momentum that he had as he got down to the goal line, I think no matter what I would have done except a straight big hit on him, he would have been able to make it through. Okay, so I'm a little nervous now. We're looking at the game being 26-20. Remember how I said at some point I'm going to have to think about going for two? Well, this is it. All right, catch, dropped. Washington's going to call a timeout. I'm surprised they're doing it this early on. There's two minutes, 51 left to go. Just running the ball. There we go. Good first down. I think with as many times that I have passed, the computer's set up for the pass, and so those types of running plays where the defense isn't prepared for it, I'm obviously going to be able to get the most amount of yards. Let's try it again here on second and one. Got to cut up. There we go. I probably should zoom the camera out at some point like this just because I felt like I could have picked up more yards if I was able to see where the defender was, but I had it just up close. And that could be good at some points. Like if I'm running up the middle, I kind of prefer that. But, you know, if I'm going to the outside, I have to know whether or not the defender has been able to shed the block. It's not the best view. Okay, third and seven, 113. This is a huge play right here. Oh, thank you. Mitchell, dude has been epic today. Super helpful. That gets me the first down. Did he just punch his butt? I think he just punched his butt. Okay, game's over. So yeah, that last, that last play, like I said, it was huge. Because I could just kneel the ball from here. So we come out with the win, 26-20. Not the prettiest of games at some points, but had a safety. Also had that touchdown at the very beginning. There was some good stuff that was in here too. Mostly, this was a, a good first game to stream. So I'm looking forward to more of that. I appreciate you guys stopping by and enjoying this content. So if this is your first episode, make sure that you guys subscribe, hit the bell icon, so more notifications and videos come your way. I think you guys are going to enjoy. If you want to help support me, whether it's helping me get streams set up, helping this channel grow, Patreon's a great way to do that. You'll find the link in the description below, as well as the link to the Dunbar Snack Bar Discord. We'd love to have you be there as well. But thanks again for watching, you guys. I appreciate it. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.